<laughs> Merry Christmas everyone, happy holidays, and yes, I did count that Santa in my lay count, so I'll leave that to your imagination. Alright, so what I want to talk about really quick before all the relatives get here to eat a whole shitload of food. This is uh, slightly off topic from game, but it has to do with like standing up and being a man, okay? Like just basically rising up to a challenge, leading, that kind of stuff along those themes. So last year, I kind of just remember this story because of one of the guests that's coming. It's this woman named Kathy. Now, Kathy's husband was the best friend of my grandfather. My grandfather's like 84 years old. All growing up, um, this was his best friend, okay? And Kathy was his wife. Now, her husband died, I think maybe three or four years ago. Um, he was walking around for a long time with one of those things. I think he was a smoker. He had one of those things that was helping him breathe in his throat. He was in really rough shape. He suffered a lot and he died. And Kathy does not have like really any family left, right? So she's like an old woman, like living alone. Um, this is like the highlight of her year is this Christmas celebration with our family, right? Cause she's bonded with our family by being around for all these years since her husband was the best friend of my grandfather. So last Christmas, um, you know, Everyone was supposed to arrive at a certain time, blah, blah, blah. People trickled in, we're about to eat, and there's no Kathy. And she, like, doesn't have a cell phone. Like, she has, like, a home phone or something like that. So everyone's like, we don't know what happened to her. So we call, and there was no answer. We call a little bit later, and no answer. We call a little bit later, and then she picked up, and she was crying and hysterics on the phone and all this stuff. And she said that she had, like, forgotten where our exactly where our house was and she had tried to get there but couldn't remember the directions right and she doesn't have a smartphone so she didn't have google maps and she doesn't have a gps in her car and blah 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 so she had driven around literally for hours trying to find the house or the neighborhood even i'm not sure how close she was and everyone at the house was just kind of like oh well, that's too bad like you know sorry to hear that um blah 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 hope it you know hope you have a nice holiday or whatever and, and this woman was like crying in hysterics and all that stuff so I got off the phone with her and I said, why don't we fucking call her an Uber, right? Like she only lived like 25 minutes away or something like that. People are like, oh, I don't know if she'd want to use that or blah, blah, blah. Or I don't know. No, 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 it's, it's not a big deal or whatever. And I know how important it is to this woman to be there for the celebration. So I really kind of rallied everyone and pushed everyone to get behind this cause. Everyone was like, oh, no, no. you know, everyone wanted to just kind of let it go and pass it off. But it was a really big deal to this woman and they liked this woman and stuff like that. She's a cool woman and she always, every year she likes to hear about my different travels because I'm living in a different country every year and, and blah, 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 or have different girlfriends or whatever. And long story short, um, we called her up. She had never used Uber before. We were, she obviously didn't have an Uber account. We arranged the Uber for her. And then I went out to greet her when she arrived and you know, she got out of the car, like, just crying, like, hugging me, sobbing, like, you know, you made my Christmas, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, she stayed, I visited with her some, she visited with everyone else, and you could just see she was just really happy, and it meant a lot to her. And then at the end of the night, uh, my grandparents drove her home, I walked, it was funny, I had my grandmother on, from the Polish side, on one arm, and then my, uh, this Kathy woman on the other arm, and I'm, I'm walking these two little old ladies down the the icy driveway and the, the, the purpose of this isn't to be like oh like look at me like I'm a, I'm a shining star I didn't do this to, to like impress my family or something like that it was just I saw this woman like really took this holiday and this, this celebration it, like very seriously it was really important to her and I sympathized with that and I just made things happen so that she could make it here to celebrate with all of us and, and she was like thanking me at the end she was like you don't know how much this means to me, like blah, 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 like to be able to have come and spend time with you all. And, you know, she's very lonely and all that stuff. So just keep that in mind. If any of you have, you know, a sick relative or someone that, you know, you don't get to see very often and you're, you're just home visiting for the holiday, make sure you get over to see them. Make sure you, you put in the time with these people because death can happen at any time. And it, you know, I hear stories all the time and I'm, I'm very active. I'll probably make a set of sub videos on my channel about preventing cancer and heart disease and all this stuff because I fully researched all that and I know how to bring 
disease risk close to zero percent and i've i've done it for myself and my loved ones but it's always important to spread the word for other people i send it to my friends for them to take care of their family and their friends as well but literally death can happen at any point you can have an aneurysm or these things are detectable in advance but people can have an aneurysm or all of a sudden have terminal cancer because they didn't check it in advance to see if it was present in the body and then boom they're gone right and once they're gone like i've lost a grandpa on one side because they took him off of a medication that was preventing blood clots in his brain to try some new experimental thing and no one consulted me not that i have an md or anything but i've fully researched this stuff a lot they took him off that medication he almost instantly had back-to-back -back strokes and then he just went really downhill from there and died a couple years ago um, and that was super sad. We buried him in Arlington uh, Memorial Cemetery because he was a general in the army and they're playing taps on the trumpet and they had a big ceremony and all oh, that was really nice. Anyways, not to make this a fucking gloom and doom video. The point, the point is for it to be uplifting. Put in the time these holidays, even if you don't get along with your family. I don't get along the best with my mom, um, but I do make an effort. And make sure you make an effort with those people that, that you love. Stay off the fucking phones and the social media and shit like that. Um, I didn't even have sex for the past week just to, to spend time with the family, but I broke that yesterday. Oops. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm really excited for 2019 to get this channel really, really, really moving. I hadn't really, to be honest, I hadn't really focused hard on, on growing it and I kind of treated it kind of lackadaisically, like just whatever. But 2019, I'm going to be really focused. You're going to be seeing uh, three new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday without fail. YouTube Live every Sunday. It's going to be 4 p.m. I originally said 7 p.m., but it's going to be 4 p.m. EST. And I'm just going to really be focusing on the production value. I'm going to be breaking down a lot of infields. That's the other thing. I looked, I've been looking around at the top channels in the niche, and a lot of their highest view count videos, like 500,000 views, a million, video, a million, million views, a million views, videos are just infield breakdowns and it's usually from shitty camera angles with average chicks with like fairly shitty audio they're putting subtitles and stuff and fairly shitty breakdowns for the most part i looked at a lot of them the good news is i have more infield than anyone it's just been fucking sitting stockpiled i have 70 infield videos in my product but i have scores of other infield sets so that's like unlimited content so i'm gonna have editors be blurring faces a lot of it that hasn't been un that hasn't been released is already edited but I'm gonna have editors get on the rest of it to blur the faces and bleep the audio parts. Um, and I'm gonna just, that's not gonna be the sole focus of the channel, but I'm gonna break down a lot of these videos. Like a lot of these top videos in the niche are like, it says like um, from meat to sex in 30 minutes. And then they just show some like brief parts of the interaction and explain it. I could do that all day. I have, I have way higher quality footage with way hotter girls and much more quantity. So I'm gonna be, swinging for the fences, trying to get some of those to go viral, and also other big hot topics in the niche. Um, I really want to grow this channel. My goal for next year is to grow it over to over 50,000 subscribers as a conservative goal. Um, but, you know, the sky's the limit. Let's see what happens. But you can expect a lot of fucking high quality content, high quality production, and really nice topics uh, coming in the new year. Um, beyond that, put in the comments, um, what types of videos, like what category of videos or what types of things you would like to see on this channel. Um, I'm going to mostly be executing a game plan based on the guy that's mentoring me that has a huge YouTube channel. So it's going to be focused on what works and focused on growth and expansion and, and getting this to really take off. Um, but I'm always open to your comments as well. And on Sunday, whatever game questions you have throughout the week or just in general that have been stirring around in your mind each sunday you're going to have a minimum of an hour to come on and, and i'm going to do the ask me anything and i really want you guys to participate in those for whoever has the, the time and availability because what i don't want to happen is i do a youtube live and i'm sitting there and there's really hardly anyone on or there's just one person asking questions if i'm going to be dedicating an hour each week it would be important for you guys if you can to get on there and ask questions participate and get involved with the discussion so that I can just keep pumping out tons and tons of value because I still firmly believe I have by far the best value to give in this niche, even though my um, production value of the videos and the subscriber count needs to play catch up now. Um, I got the whole 1000 thing out of the way. 
I've got 10 years of game and coaching under my belt. So now it's really time to take this to the next level. And I'm going to be replacing a lot of time that I spent with chicks to growing this and expanding my brand and, and getting my uh, products out there and stuff like that. So happy holidays, happy new year. Wish you guys much happiness and love and success in 2019 and make sure you enjoy that time with the loved ones this holiday season. All right. Yeah.